What's poppin' Erbute? Today you're listening to episode 36 of Life Being High, the podcast. What's poppin' everyone? I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. About to have an amazing week, Oker. Hopefully your week is better than last week and the following week is better than that week. And it just keeps on getting better and better. I know there's always bumps in the road, but just know I'm always sending y'all huge hugs full of strength. Oker, hey we lit though. And y'all like Life has been so cool lately. I don't mean to like brag, <laughs> of course, but I'm just, I've been super happy. And honestly, like I'm running on two hours probably worth of sleep, if that. So that, that just shows that I've been really low key, like everywhere. I feel like I've been living my best life. I've been staying safe. I've been making sure I take care of myself and still have a lot of fun and make sure I'm on my shit. And I feel like back then, I, I used to think you had to pick one or the other, like be on your shit, be making, you know, good money and money moves and just be home and be boring. But now I'm realizing like there's such thing as a balance, you know, it's just up to you to figure out what works for you and, you know, how you are going to manage everything. So recently I've been, you know, traveling a lot more. I actually, today's Saturday, the day I'm filming this, the day you guys upload this is Monday was popping, turning up on a Monday. Um, I eventually even want to start doing more than just one podcast a week. So let me know if you guys are interested in hearing possibly two podcasts a week. I'm definitely wanting to schedule more time or not schedule, but set aside more time to do the podcast because I've been having a lot of more fun um doing it especially because i have been more out i have been experiencing more of a life meeting new people traveling i just feel like i have more to talk about more experiences to share so yeah yeah we lit all but it's crazy because um back then like i was super sad and <laughs> y'all know y'all know the story if you've been an og supporter like you know life wasn't always sunshine and rainbows and I can't believe I'm finally on this side of the rainbow. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I was always in the rainstorm for literally 21 years of my life. And again, I don't mean to brag, but it's just so crazy. Like, I just, I can't wait for every one of you guys and everyone in this world to also feel how I feel right now. So just know that if you're not there yet, you are well on your way. Even if feel, even if it feels like you're just digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole and becoming farther and farther away from the life you want to live you know maybe you are maybe doing something wrong I know I was in the past and I was going downhill at one point so it was up to me to actually go downhill and f realize that what I was doing was not helping me and decide that you know what I need to change my ways I need to make a game plan I need to take myself more seriously and for a while I didn't go out for a minute because I was focusing on myself and my work but now that I finally feel like, okay, I got that all on track. Now I feel like I could breathe a little bit. I've been do doing more trips. So on Friday, which was yesterday for me, um, I got off a plane um, from Las Vegas in landed in San Diego at 7 in the morning. That's why I'm trying to tell you guys. I got barely any energy in me. I am smoking on my King Palm per usual so that's probably not helping some fire indica but i do got some monsters my first time drinking a monster energy drink mm. i kind of don't like it and i don't even think it gives me that much energy but i've only drinking a little bit so we'll see if i'm if i get some some hyperness mid episode hello <laughs> i'm like wait I'm, I'm fucking with something okay well after I got off the plane, I was really missing my OG granny, so I decided to pay her a visit. I even took her out to eat and take a couple of shots. You know, I had just came back from Vegas. I was in that party mood still. My granny was in a party mood, surprisingly. So we ended up taking like five shots and drinking a margarita. So by the end of it, we were tipsy and I kind of was like at home and not that I was in my feels, but I was like, hmm, like, I don't know. So not gonna lie, somebody who I had been needing to respond to, 
um i know is a party animal and stuff so i was like hmm wonder what they're doing tonight like it's friday so i finally responded to them <laughs> if they're watching this i'm sorry me and it's a guy by the way not a girl i wouldn't do that to like a girlfriend but guys psh, i don't owe you nothing <laughs> but he ended up inviting me out to the club and i told him like dude i have two hours of sleep in me i just got off the plane i mean i know i was looking for a turn up but i wasn't thinking like a whole club like i was thinking maybe like honestly i don't know what i was thinking but you know my bitch ass went to the club i had to so i went to the club and low-key it was so lit like oh my gosh definitely my most favorite time being in a club in san diego i thought that i had really nice experiences in the club in san diego which you know i have but this one just knocks all the other times out of the park so shouts out that was fun there was confetti there was these i don't know if you call them like go-go dancers exotic dancers i don't even know but they were these dancers like literally on a rope like dangling from the ceiling like you you know they're strong using all that upper body strength doing all kinds of twirls kind of like a circus girl but they're just all cute it was cool there was literally confetti and smoke like it, w it felt like i was in vegas people who saw my snap were like whoa are you still in vegas like where is this club but no i was in san diego baby and shout out to the people i was with uh it was just such a vibe but you know what's crazy is like i actually invited two of my friends and both of them ended up not being able to make it so i was like fuck it i'm gonna go by myself like i was already tipsy from drinking with my grandma so i was like yolo and i've gone out with this guy before to the club um without my friend with my friends without my friends both so it wasn't like you know it was normal and the reason why i'm saying this is because i also later want to talk about how i used to be too scared to do stuff like this i used to think like no you need your girlfriends with you you know if a guy invites you out like you need to pull up with like a group of cute friends and like y'all look like baddies and blah, blah 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 and like yeah that's nice if you have friends definitely why not do that the more the merrier but after actually doing that and then having so many like not fun experiences because for example you could do that invite your friend out you guys are at the club maybe you're having a really good time chopping it up with someone you have a crush on you know what i mean but then your friend is like getting mad at you because they're like dude like hang out with me you're all with this guy you know like i've had friends like that or which i mean i respect it you know i i respect it so it's it's not like i'm trying to complain but sometimes it is nice to you know go out by yourself not by yourself i wouldn't like recommend it i'm not telling you guys to go by yourself but it was with just like a guy i trusted but rather than just like girlfriends and um i don't see nothing wrong with that i actually like i said i had the best night i've had in San, like at a san diego club and i was by myself not by myself but i wasn't with like you know for example the two homegirls i had invited and now that i look back i don't think i would have had as much fun if i was with those two girls just because i know that their limits are different than mine and for example maybe i could stay up until 3 a.m i know that they can't so for example that's an example um not saying that that's for sure but yeah so then you know it kind of kills your vibe because then they're like oh i want to go home let's go and then you don't want to be a bad friend to be like okay then bye leave <laughs> like i'm staying here so it, yeah i don't know sometimes it's good to just go with the flow i remember contemplating so hard like should i go out should i go i don't know like my two friends don't want to go like ugh, i don't know i don't know but i ended up being like fuck it i'm gonna go because i want to go and this guy's cute <laughs> so period we went and it was a lot of fun um which i'm gonna call it so yeah i actually want to say a little story time before we get into uh like do's and don'ts i want to tell you guys some do's and don'ts of the club i'm definitely not an expert so feel free to like comment them too or like add them in the in the comment section let the people know but um yeah i know we're stoners but i know we sometimes like to you know take a, some drinks too um take some drinks drink some drink. i was gonna say take some shots but i said drinks anyhow um 
story time so how i said i i it amazes me i may I, i'm so proud of my not me stuttering i'm so proud of myself because i amaze myself more and more every single day and it's because i know my old self wouldn't be able to do so much stuff like even dancing in a club i used to overthink it for, to the fullest and it sucks because i look back and it's the people i surrounded myself with the people i was friends with and the boys i used to talk to i feel like they were they were just so judgmental they would talk shit about the girl crossing the street you know like i was nervous like what are they gonna say about me if i'm drunk dancing thinking i'm feeling myself and really i'm drunk i don't realize like i look stupid you know, and I used to overthink that and then stay in my little shell and be a wallflower and refuse to open up because of that fear. And I realized that, yeah, that's true. That could definitely happen. And guess what? That happens all the time. I'm at the club, whether I'm, I'm tipsy, I'm super drunk or whatever. I see it happen all the time. There's people who are dancing, feeling themselves, probably thinking they look so big and bad and delicious and sexy but really they just look a whole sloppy mess you know what i mean so it happens all the time sometimes i've been that girl you know what i mean I'm not proud of it i try to learn from my mistakes but that's the whole point of life is to learn from your mistakes rather than just always stay in your shell like why not you know so i mean it's up to you at the end of the day you do you but i definitely that was something that i would i didn't like about myself so super proud of myself for changing or being more brave or just not being so hard on myself in my own with my own inner thoughts you know because so what who cares if i do look drunk you know at the end of the day i'm enjoying myself right well that's what life is all about so period so yeah story time me and my sister uh were you know tight growing up so like when i was still in high school and i think she had she was probably still in high school oh, no she had obviously graduated because she was 20 21 i think my sister was literally 21 and i was probably like what 16 no 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 she, 21 18 no she i don't know how what the fuck because <laughs> i think my sister's two years older than me so she was 21 that would have meant i was like 18 right i don't even know she's like two and a half years older than me but no when i was 18 i was already living on my own in a different city well well, you must have been stupid young. I don't even know if she was able to get into the club like that. But she knew the right people because um, this was years ago. I was probably like mm, 15 years old. No, no, no. Actually, I was driving. Okay, yeah. I'm remembering now. I'm remembering. Um, she probably was 21. And I think I was 18 years old. And since I was 18, I obviously hadn't been to any clubs. I wasn't old enough. And I had my Volkswagen, so I would drive. Because like I said, at that age, I was already living in the IE on my own. So I would drive my Volkswagen from out there to San Diego. And one of these days, my sister was telling me, like, yeah, I could get you into the club. Like, she knew the right people and blah, 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 blah literally vip everything like she was hyping it up and i believe her because these guys really do want to treat their girls right especially at the club period so you know it would have been like a really fun time basically and i was like okay yeah seems fun i had never been to the club back then i was super tomboy a lot of people tell me now that wow you're so girly now and stuff like that and i had my girly moments back then too but i was also not afraid to embrace my tomboy side i feel like nowadays i really try to avoid that because it just reminds me of my old self and i'm not proud of her so but nothing wrong with that it's still a style and i still sometimes do dress like not even tomboy but like more like streetwear like type of vibe skater vibe you know what i mean so yeah kind of tomboy too but um yeah so back then i was not wearing heels sandals nothing like that no flats so i'm wearing probably like i don't know for sure i don't really remember but i was not wearing a dress girl i was not wearing even a skirt i'm pretty sure i was wearing like baggy joggers and heel no no heels <laughs> and fucking like air Fo high top air force ones or something like that like something super like you don't go to the club wearing that, you know what I mean? But I had never been to the club. So, and I had just probably pulled up just to hang out. I don't think this was planned. So I didn't, you know, I didn't live out there. It's not like I could change. So 
it was just like i just went with the f- i was trying to go with the flow and be like okay yeah sounds good so we're pulling up to the club while i'm driving and we obviously pass by the club and i just see this big huge line full of of people i remember i think john f kennedy or someone with someone kind of popping was performing that night it was at flux to be specific it's like the most ratchet club i actually never been there but i always hear things about it so i stay away um but i heard a couple years ago during this time it was like popping but now a couple years later it's like ah it's the ratchet spot i don't know sometimes i bet you some nights it's popping like that's how every club is like it's just a hit or miss some nights are popping some nights are not or there's some there's some clubs where like every night or every weekend is popping because it's like that one club but um i'm taking way too long on this story i'm sorry y'all let me hurry the freak up i need more energy drink dojo says was popping by the way Yo, kitty cat, you better not. He's ruining my door. I need to get my deposit back. <laughs> um, So, I'm driving, right? And I even, I'm starting to, I do a lot of research and a lot of um, soul searching, a lot of reading of books. So, Dojo, you better stop. I'm going to just open the door because I feel bad screaming at him. (laughs) Okay. He doesn't even come in. Opens door for nothing. All right, Dojo, see how you are. Oh, there he is. I wish he could sit in, like, the other podcast chair I have in here and be, like, like, a human, like a guest. But he's not that cool. Maybe if I move the pillow. Will you sit up there? He's like, you locked me out. I'm sorry, Doji. I'm trying to tell a story, though. Um, I immediately get super bad anxiety. Um, Back then, my anxiety was through the roof already. So being in that situation, it was majorly through the roof. And even though me and my sister are cool, we're still sisters. So we get annoyed with each other pretty quick. You know what I mean? So she's trying to have a good time. And she's trying to go turn up. It was already super late. I remember her trying to like hurry up. She's like, dude, like, come on. Like, we're taking forever. So yeah, we were already lagging and stuff. And so when I try to you know express how i was feeling extremely anxious she kind of got angry and she was like girl we don't got time for this and of course that made my anxiety way worse and i nearly had a panic attack outside the club in my car oh my gosh dojo are you really gonna do this oh my gosh i'm gonna be so upset like, you can't be doing this. I'm going to have to find him a babysitter for when I film podcasts. I'm going to have to be friends with my neighbor. Be like, yo, can I just drop him off for an hour? <laughs> yo, but you better take care of my cat good. I'm going to have a camera. Okay, a camera on his collar. <laughs> a hidden camera. <gasps> That's pretty smart, actually. Okay, well, anyhow. um, She got really annoyed with me to the point where I was, it just made it my anxiety worse. You know, she was not comforting me, which I'm just trying to say the story, like not trying to roast her. Like, trust me, y'all don't get mad at her. I know y'all like to um, be there for me and be like, oh, that's messed up. But like at the end of the day, I probably would have reacted the same. Like, dude, come on, especially because of our age difference. She just, you know, she had been going to the club like that was kind of like her thing. She was probably freshly 21, I believe so you know and me like i don't know i just had super bad anxiety i barely was able to like do other things on my own so let alone like doing that like it was just like uh uh-uh girl so i ended up telling her um dude i'll drop you off and i'll pick you up but i'm not going and she got really upset she was like what the heck and i was just like sorry it is what it is so that happened and that sucks but i'm really proud of myself because now i be turning the f up 
no more um no more of that oh kurt so yeah <laughs> i'm so high i'm like so yeah um yeah so rule number one of club do's is have confidence trust me guys i used to be that girl who used to i still am that girl who's like always afraid of like stepping on people not literally stepping on people's toes but like figuratively and i don't like to ask for things because you know you know what i mean and of course i'm not gonna be like in someone's section like oh i want to drink oh i want a shot whatever you're like no you're like you're not gonna do that either but also like have confidence like if you need or want something like get it somehow ask someone ask questions you know um be confident about it you know like i don't know i kind of like hold myself on a pedestal where i'm like if i need something like i obviously need something like the other night i needed a red bull so i asked like someone the person i was with for a red bull and immediately like they got it for me or at the end of the day i would have just asked a bottle girl or something like that or like one of the workers or whoever was around who could you know help out but yeah or if you need to use a restroom like i'd be you know you use the restroom i tell someone can you use the restroom like just have confidence you know don't be afraid to especially in the club especially in the club but also in all aspects of life and the reason why i'm talking a little bit about this because to make it m make more sense is like y'all there was no joke <sighs> 10 other girls in the section it was a really big section no maybe not there's probably like honestly four <laughs> why am i saying 10 there is like four uh it wasn't crowded though like it was a big section there's a lot of room for all of us uh four other girls that we had um came with as well we met outside the club like me and the person i was with met up with like their group of people so these four girls was part of that group of people and then from there we went inside obviously and so the whole night like it was pretty obvious that these girls liked um the guy i was with and I didn't mind like I barely know this guy you know what I mean like he just invited me to the club so I don't care I, I really don't I started talking to his friends got me fucked up <laughs> and but honestly not even like that like it was just because I didn't want to be awkwardly there and we weren't drunk yet so it's not like I could just be you know like I don't know I was just chilling like you know don't and also another tip a don't actually for the club is to not um not become obsessed or um possessive over people you meet at the club or even trust them or believe anything they say because people are all talk people are drinking people are gonna last night i had a guy tell me he i had one guy tell me he was gonna take me to tulum i had a different guy tell me he was gonna buy me a rolex but are any of these motherfuckers gonna do it for sure they're not you know what i mean they just want to get in your pants so yeah you know be aware <laughs> and trust me i had to learn the hard way i had to learn the motherfucking hard way i used to be like oh we're gonna do that. even with companies um i'm really grateful because i don't even think i had to learn the hard way with guys i kind of learned with companies because since i do work with a lot of companies a lot of them will tell me like you know can you do this and that for me for us post wise like for free and then we'll build a long-term relationship and we promise to do this and do that and give you a fat check you know we just want to start off and then i do it i don't do this anymore obviously but i used to do it and then i would notice like they would just milk the fuck out of me and run so i i learned from the beginning like people are all talk unless if it's literally like you know for a fact you know you got it right there in front of you it's already been done and then a good quote is actions speak louder than words so don't forget that we got doji out here jumping around having fun it's all good as long as he's with me um yeah so these girls though they were we were we had a section right next to the dj so we were on like a podium like above everyone we could look down and see the whole dance floor a whole mosh pit full of people super crowded um last night well down there <laughs> not in our section hey, hey, hey. um but yeah so everyone in the 
you know, down below in the dance floor is fucking dancing. Mm-ts, mm-ts, mm-ts. And the girls who were in our section were looking like some pretzel sticks, like a whole stale bag of pretzel sticks that were not moving. And I was even before I used to also think that you had I had. I used to think that I had to be drunk in order to dance, have a good time, let loose, especially in the club. I remember back then when I first started to go clubbing, um, like at the beginning of my clubbing phase. Well, not really. It's, I don't even think it's a phase because it's still going on. It's a lifestyle, baby. No, I'm just kidding. I only I don't even club that often. And when I do, I'm, I get over it, like because I've been clubbing a lot recent, like this weekend in Vegas yesterday. I'm definitely not going nowhere to the club for like a month because then it then you just burn it out and it becomes like a routine and it's boring. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the girls. <laughs> I heard one of them be like, um, I want to drink. And I was thinking like, girl, you're cute. Just ask one of these motherfuckers hey i want to drink like it doesn't mean you're being like thirsty and annoying like they invited you to the section for a reason they obviously want you to dance with them so if you have a drink you're more likely to dance with them you know what i mean so that's what i mean like you gotta have confidence baby i hate when i see like aspects of my old self in other people because i wish i could just shake them and let them know like you know whatever it is i now realized and that is that you are wanted and the world is yours the world is yours if you are willing to accept what the world is trying to give you and even though you might have to like reach for it a little bit you might have to ask you know do it don't be afraid so yeah um that was that and oh i was saying how these girls like that guy that i was with (laughs) not trying to start drama if they ever you know see this it's fine have them it's all yours and the only reason why i'm saying that okay for the record is because he told me he told me that the girls got really mad (laughs) because i did notice they look kind of like ain't like you could feel somebody's vibes you know what i mean so definitely vibes fell off when they were like all exiting it was like a big group of girls just like walking away and it was pretty early in the night still well not early i literally showed up at the club at 12 so i don't know it seems kind of early i mean i wasn't fucked up yet let's put it that way i wasn't super drunk yet so it must have been still kind of early and yeah they just like left and i figured that they weren't having a good time something was up with them but you know i didn't pay too much attention to it i'm i'm enjoying myself but the next morning i talked to the person i had showed up with and he let me know like oh yeah those girls got mad because we were dancing so they left they all left and i was just like oh so yeah like have confidence like if if you want to dance with him like dance with him maybe throw in a special move he gonna be like oh shit other honey boo boo didn't do that i like you more you know like if you really and it's not even about competition but like if you want to dance if you want to impress someone don't be afraid about what was going on and you know another thing about me in relationships is like especially someone like that like let's say because i kind of like i think he's you know fine and whatever and so for example not that i want to but if we wanted to like start talking i feel like the old me would be asking questions like so how many girls do you start dating like who you met at the club how many girls have you dated who you met at the club there you go better way to word it or like you know just worrying about this and that and other yeah no 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 no, honey we're here for a good time not a long time we're not worried about his past and we're not even worried about any other bitch why because he's not our man what is he doing he's making sure you have a good night tonight he's making sure security walks you to the bathroom he's making sure you get your red bull he's making sure you get your water and whatever else you need and you get home bitch i even lost my phone and he had it in the morning he was like i got you security gave it to me i was like oh my gosh because yeah i for sure left it i was on live and i had it just chilling like on the table and i had to use the restroom and i think i just like went and like left it right there but um 
yeah so if he's doing all of that why am i gonna be mad about him low-key i could see that he was doing little things little moments of like entertaining these girls you know if he knows them and they're kind of like you know they have somewhat um some kind of relationship i don't know obviously it's not like a relationship relationship but you know like a friendship or whatever a uh, little crush it seems like like that's fine like, maybe they fucked in the past for all i know i wouldn't be surprised um but i'm not fucking him so why does that concern me you know what i mean so i'm you know you know what i am doing with him is going to the club and getting fucked up so that's what i'm worried about is my moments with him and making sure we good not anything else so that's something i learned also the hard way because oh my gosh i used to meet guys at the club and they would end up you know we would end up kind of dating after that because you know i thought they were cool and they thought i was cool and on these dates i would you know ask those stupid ass questions and i noticed that that's a turnoff you know like it's it's some guys whatever it might boost their ego like oh haha she's worried blah 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 blah. but most guys they're used to that a lot of girls are actually insecure so be that one girl who's fucking confident as shit who ain't worried about no other bitch you know what i mean i mean if you guys are dating like obviously don't be that dumb bitch letting him just fuck around but if you guys are just you know i would honestly call our relationship a friendship me and him so you know like we're friends so it's fine um but yeah there was moments where he was like kind of entertaining them like I, I wouldn't say he was dancing with them but you know just like you know when you're in the club and you're vibing and you see someone and you're like hey 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 pretty sure he probably said something i don't know what but you know like i ain't worried about that in those moments i didn't even really probably i out of all of the moments he's done it i probably noticed it like once or twice you know what i mean so it's not like i was watching him the whole night either <laughs> like trust me let yourself rem remind yourself that there is many fish in the sea no matter how much good looks nice cars fat wallets lots of alcohol you know what i mean no matter what it is it this person has that you're so like you want to like kind of guard them to make sure that they're yours just know that there's somebody else in the world who will um be better than them and then also you don't you won't have to feel that way to feel like you have to guard them because they will like show you they'll basically put their whole like attention into you so if a guy you're meeting at the club is obviously you know what i mean like talking to a bunch of girls it just shows right there like it's not worth it like what i don't know like i already see how he is and i can't blame him you know i met him at the club he's young he has kind of like a full little package so i i'm sure he wants to say stay single he seems like the type who would like to stay single so he can you know of course talk to all these girls still um but he seems like the type who would want me to be taken by him so that sounds toxic like why would i do that that's why i've known him for probably like a year and only hung out with him three times because every time he wants to go on a real date i'm not down <laughs> and um every time he wants to go to the club and i'm not every time but you know on the nights where i'm like mm, fuck it let's go um i do <laughs> because yeah i don't want to get my heart broken honey boo boo so i keep myself busy i keep myself fed i don't need to go out to eat <laughs> i can eat my meal prep at home or take myself out at my grandma or whatever it is we do um but yeah um it's not that i wouldn't like i was even telling my friend today i was like oh i wish you would ask me to go to the movies with him because uh, that would look he'd be cute but i know he's not gonna do that because i don't know well maybe he would i don't know well either way i wouldn't want that actually because of i'm gonna end up catching feelings <laughs> mm. 
No, I don't like him though. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why is because I already see how he is. Like when we at the club, he nothing wrong with what he does. He's just vibing. But I just I don't know. I don't know how to say this without sounding like contradicting myself because I just said not to be like territorial but he's just so like he's a fuck boy <laughs> like he every girl knows him <laughs> so yeah i'm good i'll be the girl who you know is just friends period so proud of myself y'all but Let's see. What's another do or don't? A do or don't. What did I say? I think I've said like two do's. Two don'ts. Yeah, I put for the don't is drink too much. That's pretty obvious. And make sure that you're dressed right. <laughs> First of all, your outfit is what's going to help you be confident and being in a room full of strangers like you know like that like not on the right not even sober you know what i mean especially because when people are drunk some people feel bold you know some people are rude or you know whatever it is hopefully not but you never know so you know you know you just want you you don't ever want to feel like little or insecure so just use everything you can to make yourself feel confident and that would be by looking your best, dressing your best. And another reason is because a lot of clubs have dress codes. One of the people in the group we were with um, had to take off their hat. That's pretty common. A lot of guys like to wear hats, but they have to take it off. Or even like coats, like you can't wear like, I don't know, like like jackets. I don't know, it's weird. They try to be fancy. And we're not talking about a bar, we're talking about a club. Oh, my king palm is done, so I'm sad. Yeah, and also a don't would be to, like, pay for everything, especially if you're a girl. I mean, for a guy, maybe there's tips and tricks on how you could save money, um, but just know that you're going to probably spend money because you're a guy, period. That's how the club works. Um, girls get things for free. Guys pay. No, but honestly... Um, in Vegas, it was really cool. Uh, I had gone to Vegas, not this time around, but last time. And a promoter had... It's very common. Girl, go on the strip. You'll have so much promoters coming up to you. It's kind of, like, annoying. <laughs> like, there was a point where me and my homegirl this time around, just when I had went recently, we were walking on the strip to get those, um, those Fat Tuesdays. And stay posted because there will be a Plug Play episode for Hijacked on the Plug Play TV YouTube channel. You guys can watch it of me turning up in Vegas. Okay, drinking at the best bars, most unique. Getting crossfaded, of course. Speaking of the Plug Play, I should hit it. I think it's over there somewhere. Ooh, I see it. I'm grabbing it. Period. Ew, I low-key need to stop saying the word period. It's so annoying. <laughs> Just me. I feel like we could all agree on that at this point. It's just like played out, but it's so addicting. Like I literally can't stop. Like it just it's automatic at this point. Um okay, I got the plug play. Let's hit a blinker. Cheers. Yeah, so um, promoters um, are lit. They'll get you into stuff. There's also a lot of them you can find online so or like on Instagram type shit on social media. I post on my Instagram saying that there's that I'm in Vegas, you know. Um, I post like I put the tag of the location like Vegas. And I noticed a lot of promoters started to DM me or comment on my posts. So that's also another way you could um, 
get promoters attention if you're like too scared to like have them come up to you in person or something i know i have social anxiety so i wouldn't know how to feel about that at first but yeah so a promoter came up to pretty much like every single one of my friends because hashtag baddies and i noticed that luckily the promoter i think i got was maybe one of the better ones so i learned that okay each promoter you know does it a little differently and whatever and the reason why i really like you know the promoter i got was first of all he was hot af he was very handsome smelled delicious was like twice my size like yes height Mm. okay anyways and also because anytime i texted him about anything he responded in 0.02 seconds like such a quick response we love that some promoters don't so that's a sign that you need to find a better promoter because if he wants money honey he gonna respond because um they make commission off of um bringing people into the club into the different clubs and yeah some of the clubs um i don't even know if you're able to get like on a list so you kind of just need to like literally know the right people um especially the ones that are not in vegas like in san diego you just have to know the right people to be able to get in skip the line well not get in actually anyone could, anyone with money could get it in period <laughs> i need to stop saying that um and then yeah but to skip the line to get special treatment basically you either gotta have a lot of money or know the right people (laughs) but yeah yeah um i'm like yeah yeah what am i saying yeah different promoters could obviously get you into different venues too and some of the promoters um who are like more newbies i think they do the smaller clubs or less pop-in clubs so yeah definitely want to find a promoter that could get you into like if you want if your goal is to go to like a really big pop-in club then yeah you're gonna have to do your research and know the names of those so then you can ask your promoter what he what venues he works or promotes and you can know that if it's the right one because when we were walking the strip there was actually someone who came up to us and he offered us to get on his list for a different club i think i forgot which club it was i think it was Tao or something no honestly i don't remember but oh it was in welks resort or some shit like that honestly i don't remember and some big artist was performing and he was he even invited us he said we would be at a table and i don't know if that's happened to me before so i was i was a little like okay cool because usually you're able to get into get a get on the list and get free entry because they be charging for entry in both in vegas and san diego especially um for guys <laughs> Unless if some clubs will say from a certain time to a certain time, guys and girls are free or sometimes just girls. And then after that certain time, it costs money. Unless if you know the right people. Yeah, another thing is just like anything in life, your work life, in the nightlife, I would try to um, not burn any bridges. You know, not with the security guards, not with the workers, not with the bottle girls. And not with the guys with mm, big bank accounts. <laughs> and even maybe like their their posse, you know, just keep good, good vibes. Because if you're known as, if you, you know, if you create a scene, cause a scene, like, you're not going to want to be welcome there again. You know, it's not going to be pretty. You're not going to get treated as good. So don't bring no bridges. That's important. And even if you don't like a guy, like in my situation, like, well, you know, I, I do like the idea of him, but not actually because I feel like being anywhere close to a relationship with that or having feeling towards someone like that, you're just bound for heartbreak because, girl, he is not going to reject the 20 million girls who are throwing themselves at him. You know what I mean? Just for me. I mean, he should because period, but he ain't that smart and that's fine because he ain't the one but it's fine because we could also still go to the club and pretend (laughs) um 
yeah so another do is drink water in between so like i said have confidence don't be afraid i used to be afraid to ask people for the water and stuff like that because i'm not the one you know paying for all of this of course i would if it's ever asked like i'll definitely put in um especially for my portion the fuck but luckily like a lot of the time they don't really want the girls to pay um and why am i talking so slow i'm like um i'm like literally distracted because the door is open and i'm like really contemplating closing it so i can't focus but let me stop let me focus um yeah have confidence fuck that drink their fucking water who gives a shit if you're gonna be dancing with them girl you deserve the whole world if they if you're even gonna be in their presence girl you deserve the whole world i'm really thankful for my exes because they taught me what i deserve and what i don't deserve you know i've had oh my gosh i have an ex who had broken my phone okay literally broke my phone smashed my door my front door broke my tv made a hole in one of my doors and just treated me like shit you know and then i've had guys where were drinking at a section in a table they got the most expensive fucking tequila and then back then i used to not like taking shots and i was alone this time i think it was another time when i hung out with this guy and he invited me to the club again my friends weren't trying to go they're always missing out they always end up seeing my snapchat and they're like oh my gosh it looks so fun i'm like yeah you dumb bitch no i'm just kidding but loki um and we should call it um <laughs> why am i distracted let me hit this i loki forgot what i was saying how does that happen what oh yeah i remember saying that i wanted to get a mixed drink like i literally wanted to order a margarita and tell me why the guy who had invited me out to the club with him he was like okay you want a mixed drink okay let me order it for you literally ordered me a margarita like how cute and like i didn't even think of it like at the time as it being all that but now that I've hung out, especially in Vegas, in Vegas, because it was just me and my homegirl just recently, um, we had went to Vegas and, you know, just me and her. So when we were in the club, we were just vibing with ourselves. You know, I, we bought each other like some drinks here and there. And eventually, you know, we got invited to a section and stuff. And because these are complete like strangers, people I'm obviously never going to see again, um, Sometimes it's a hit or miss because I was in Vegas before this time and it was super late. I had I had met someone who, you know, made sure that I was taken care of and he was a gentleman and stuff like that. So shout out to him. Got me a taxi to my hotel after two. So it was it was cool. Um, but this time around, nothing wrong with this person. I was super grateful. You know, they invited me to their section like cool, chilling it wasn't having to kill my feet anymore in my heels i could finally sit down and relax um but there was just like things were just a little bit different and it just was like not i don't know how to say it without saying like a sp sounding like a spoiled bitch but it, it was just not the the same you know like first of all they were drinking vodka and i was like hmm we should get a bottle of tequila. And usually when I say that, they're like, okay, we're getting a bottle of tequila. Like, which one you want? And this time he was just like, oh, you want a shot of vodka? And then I was like, oh, well, I think I'm going to buy a drink, actually. And he was just like, oh, okay, I'll be here. And then I'm like, oh, like, I need to use the restroom. And then he's like, okay, um, I think it's over there. You know what I mean? And I don't know if I already mentioned that in these other people, not from Vegas, um, but out here they got like they asked the security to like walk me to the restroom and stuff like that so 
I don't know. I'm really grateful for all experiences because it's just like really showing me that, you know, I don't know, like not that I'm not trying to talk down on people because at the end of the day, like it was nothing bad. Like you still invited me to your little section and stuff, but it just, you know, things are just different and I don't know. <laughs> where am I? Go what am I? Where am I going with this? <laughs> I can't even speak. So, yeah, there's going to be some nights where people are really cool like that. There's going to be some nights where people are not. And there's going to be some nights where you may not even be able to get into a section. You know what I mean? It just, it is what it is. And I, um, just make sure you have a good time no matter what. Um, I see on TikTok a lot, I feel like people be, these girls be like really, really, really like, I don't even know how you, I, to, to describe it, but like really putting it out there that, you know, this is how you do it. Like you go to the club, you wait for a guy to buy you a million drinks or blah, 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 invite you to the section. But I promise you, every single time I've gone to the club without already knowing that I'm going to a section, like to someone's section who I already knew who invited me to go, um, you know what I mean? Like, where most likely I'm going to just be at the bar with my friend for a little bit. And then if we get invited, we get invited. Every single time. Yeah. So every time I go to the club, not going to, to a table, I don't ever have the intentions of we're going to find a table tonight. Like, no. If I really wanted that, then I would pay for it myself. You know what I mean? But usually I'm just there to have a good time with my friend. So, yeah, we have a good time. And sometimes we get invited to a section sometimes we don't so um yeah i don't know i guess i just want to put it out there that sometimes that every club is different and doji next oh he's so cute next i want to talk about um I want to talk about the different kinds of guys in the club because I think that's super important. So, yeah, um, there's this there's the type of guys in the club who will go to a club knowing that it's a cheap club and they'll flex. They'll flex so hard like they are a million bucks like they got a million bucks like they're made of a million bucks like they're just like the flexor the uh showing off like he just you know he's standing out every girl wants him because they're stupid and yeah anyhow um also another tip this is kind of off topic but another tip is like don't be that girl who is all over these guys trust me even if you think like oh they cute oh okay like even if they do get your attention go ahead think that in your mind but be different or actually just be yourself be yourself 100 percent. that's all i could say and i bet you if you're being yourself that means you're being different because there's no way in hell you like everyone else okay we're all unique in our own way and I remember being at one of these clubs where it's not necessarily a cheap club, but it kind of was a cheap club because in this club, it was not paid sections. There was no stage. There was, I think there was a DJ, but still it wasn't like a big DJ booth. Like, no. And low key, this club would get cracking. So me and my friends would go like every weekend for like three weekends in a row. And it was lit meeting new guys every weekend. Guys who had money, quotes, 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 like hella China flex, hella saying, making promises, you know, saying this and that like they always do. And um, paying someone like 50 bucks to get us to the to skip the line to the restroom and stuff you know what i mean but not like 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to roast. That's why I'm like, I probably sound like a bitch. But the part is, is like these guys are not who they're trying to make themselves out to be. Like it's because they know they're at a club. They know how girls are at the club. They know what they want. So they're playing the part. You know what I mean? But that's not really them. Because I remember minding my own business and a guy ended up telling me and my group of friends like yo there's an after party blah 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 this guy was popping bottles you know giving us shots of 1942 and shit so we were like hell yeah like you know he looked like he had money and stuff all in designer so we were like oh like let go tell me why we was in the hood we was about a oh the cops did pull up we was finna get shot like it was not mm -mm. it was not it but my dumbass um he ended up I guess really liking me because I was different because all of my um people at the club I was gonna say friends but honestly they're not my friends they're just random girls at the club um were I guess like throwing themselves at him and he was like not feeling it but then he saw me in my own world like living it up that he was like oh she different but I was unapproachable because I was so extremely drunk that he knew i was just too drunk and he was like yeah no this is not it so he waited patiently until the next morning and it was so funny because we were not meant to hang out the next morning like i don't even nearly remember this guy all i remember was that he had oh i remember seeing him and thinking he was cute but um i saw um him talking to a lot of girls and when i see that keep them keep um i'm not worried about it so and i'm not about to play i'm not about to be another one of those girls you know what i mean um there's always a time and there's a place so i'll i'll wait my turn no worries um or i'll find someone better period um but which i'm gonna call it another plug play hit mandatory oh yeah in the morning i (laughs) I had slept over at my mom's house because obviously couldn't drive was super drunk i don't know what i was even thinking should have just ubered from my house but i mean it was cheaper to uber um to do what i did okay anyways um so i stayed at my mom's house woke up in the morning was walking outside to my car and this guy pops out and he there's like a tow truck and he's getting his car towed his nice ass car his nice ass beamer and i was like what the beams and he i didn't even remember who this guy was and i was just like huh like i didn't even know who he was but i'm not gonna say more details of that story because it's just irrelevant but fast forward we ended up you know hanging out that day catching a vibe hung out more days not like every day but like you know went on like random dates here and there and i really thought that he had it like that and blah 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 and he just ended up being a snake i mean he probably does does have a lot of money but he still ended up not being fully who he kind of like made himself out to be basically so yeah i don't know i was just like like i don't know money isn't everything so i don't care about the fact that you may have some bread like guess what i do too like don't we all like i mean i wish but um soon we will all okay all the hard work is i promise you all that hard work is gonna pay off period but oh my gosh i feel like because i said i want to stop saying period now i keep saying period anyhow um i forget what i was saying oh yeah so he's a fake flexor he's a majorly fake flexor and i realized that even all the other guys every single guy who i had met at that club you know how i said me and my friends went like three weekends back to back and girl i you know i went three more weekends too but just not back to back (laughs) and so every weekend i would meet like me and my friends meet new guys who really seem like oh okay they flashy jewelry you know designer whatever it may be spending it on bottles but i realized that you don't gotta pay i realized all late that you don't gotta pay to um 
and at that time i didn't experience other clubs yet that was like one of the first clubs i had went to so i didn't know you know what i mean so gotta do your research y'all <laughs> gotta do your research don't be fooled by these fake flexors okay if you pull up to one of the more popping more expensive bigger clubs and he's not there and he stays only at that small club it's fine to jump around you know maybe one night you just happen to go it doesn't mean that club is bad that club was still dope i loved it but if that's the only place you're partying every single weekend maybe because that's the only place he could afford and if that's the only place you could afford maybe you shouldn't be going out because honey boo boo that place well no honestly no wait i'm talking shit i take it back that's fine but don't be fake flexing like oh blah 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 blah. i'm so rich like mm -hmm. if you're so rich then get a table at the most richest popping is club you know what i mean that's the part that got me fucked up that's the part y'all that's the part so i hope y'all don't just think i sound like a straight bitch right now like i'm, I'm sorry i got logic to it i got logic to it so yeah that's the that's one type of guy and there's always a type of guy there was this kind of guy last night um where he is in his feels and there's always this one guy who is trying to talk it's that one guy who's like the talkative one you know and the talkative one is usually the one who's in his feels simping about his ex talking about his ex doing something about wanting to make her jealous like it always happens bro this guy i guess his girlfriend was the bottle girl not me exposing all the bottle girls were cute um he was trying to show me which one and i didn't really pay attention um but they were all cute so <laughs> i feel bad for buddy he lost a good one i'm just kidding but um <laughs> i could see why he was in his feels he was like fuck because trust me none of those girls who was in that section including myself was not finna dance with him he was one of the friends who was wearing uh, wait i'm so mean i need to humble myself a second he was nice though i was talking to him like throughout the night too just like cracking jokes i was tripping because there was girls um at that club who looked like they were doing the splits like in the air like it was crazy like it was um they were like dancers for part of the club i was like dude oh they were saying they were like imagine she just fell i was like bro don't say that like you're fucked up but imagine because <laughs> there was like a, the whole um dancing crowd the the dance floor like right beneath them so yeah the other type of guys oh my gosh the kidnappers the kidnappers bro yes okay good th okay wait the good thing about being in a section and the good thing about the guys who t keep you if a guy really care about you i mean it's not always necessary i don't think it's always necessary well maybe if the club is popping and there's a long line if possible you know it's nice but if not it's fine as long as i get to pee i get to pee but um I, I i think that um when you're in a section and when whoever you're with or maybe you could do it yourself get the security guard to walk you you have less chances of having contact with one of these guys who i would label as the kidnapper um so yeah the kidnapper let me explain let me elaborate on that <laughs> there was this guy who one time i was talking to him for a while and he was buying me drinks so it was fun he was buying my friend drinks at the bar though not at a section and it was a vibe so it was cool but then later on um i ended up getting invited to a section so me and my friends are in the section and the guy sees that i'm in the section and he's trying to come up to me and be like do you want another drink meanwhile i already have a drink in my hand and i'm just like huh and then he's trying to say like let's get out of here and stuff like that and it doesn't end there because i went to the club again probably like the next week or some shit and he was there 
and he actually knew who i was with so whoever i was with this time he knew they were buddies so the guy who i was with excuse me he introduced um me to his friend and little did that guy know that i already knew his friend but you know we just casually said hello and that whole night like the friend that um or the guy that i had showed up with to that club that time you could tell he was kind of like almost i guess called dibs on me in a way you know like you know we were the ones who showed up together but i'm never tied down you know like honey boo boo i'm free but i also didn't want this other guy so i was kind of like cool this guy could help me out with that and i just thought it was so funny because meanwhile he's making it obvious that he kind of like wants me and you know wa doesn't want anyone else to like fuck with me let alone his friend um his friend was still trying to take me home and you know the following weekend i kind of was like avoiding him and then this weekend i was kind of avoiding him and it was just like oh my goodness like get the hint you know what i mean so i label those the kidnappers oh and then also a big reason why they're called the kidnappers is because they're usually a lot older it's usually the older ones who are very very persistent the young wild and free people at the club you you know reject them they're on to the next they know there's another another young wild and free girl who will be down but the older ones, once they get a little bit of your attention, they really think that they could just convince you. And it's like, no, honey, I don't work like that. So, yeah, kidnappers, stay away at all cost. Let's see. What's another type of person? Oh, my gosh. This is such a long podcast. Shout out to everybody who's watching. Let me know if you've been enjoying the longer episodes yeah there's always the guy who's too drunk too the guy who even though you keep rejecting him he's so drunk he forgets that he's already tried and rejected him so he just keeps on trying and trying and trying and trying and it's annoying because when he's trying he's trying to like for example compliment you or say something to you but instead of just saying it he's fucking spitting in your face fucking face oh that's such a pet peeve and then you can smell his nasty ass breath Ugh, i hate those guys i'm like get the freak out of my face yeah i hate them but it sucks because they don't realize anything so i don't get too mad because i'm like fuck they don't know it they're gonna wake up tomorrow and be like hmm that girl was a bitch rather than realizing that man your breath just stank and i you was in my bubble but Oh, well. Um, yeah. And then there's the real ballers. The real ballers, they're not hard to find, but usually they are kind of taken. And then the girls that are with the ballers, they don't like new girls to come around they really don't um and what's crazy is like whenever i am like the new girl it's not because i'm just trying to make myself like not the new girl but like you know like the one of the new, like never hung out with them before type shit um you're like i'm a new face to their circle for that night um i notice like the girls just kind of like don't like it they're like what is she doing here like da -da -da. but it's like in all reality like they've been um for example wanting to hang out or inviting me to the club and i finally just said yes tonight you know what i mean or um it's like i don't know it's just like yeah i don't know and yeah also another tip for the club is like don't let nobody discourage you or piss you off or bring you down sometimes even the bartenders especially on busy nights they get frustrated, they're annoyed, they are kind of come off rude sometimes. So don't even let them, don't sweat them or anyone in the club. Like, trust. Um, just do you, boo. Just do you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh, yeah. I also want to talk about um, the best experiences that I've had. My best and my worst experience in the club. So the best one was last night. Like I said, that was the best club night I had in San Diego by far. And in Vegas, it was my, I have a Vegas vlog. It says my wildest night in Vegas, no regrets, baby, um, on my Life Being Desk YouTube channel. And yeah, that was probably the funnest night too. That was really cool. There was just confetti everywhere. I love a good confetti moment, a good DJ, a good um, bottle service. So fun. And let's see. What else? Not me getting distracted. Okay, plug, play, hit. Now, time for my worst experiences. My worst experiences are for sure when I drink way too much, I black out, um, I can't get myself together. I lose my phone, I lose my purse, I lose everything. I get blisters on my feet. The nights where I ruin my shoes, I'm stupid, so sometimes I'll wear like f like actually expensive shoes to the club cuz I want to like low key flex on these hoes, but then at the same time like I end up getting stepped on by these hoes. So <laughs> I mean, when I'm drunk, I just don't notice, I guess. So yeah, because somehow in the morning, I always wake up and my f shoes are fudged. So, yeah, that's another warning. Be careful. That's why nowadays, I, I'm glad I learned when I first started. Obviously, when something's new to you, you get really excited and you just want to go hard. So, for example, when I first started to go clubbing and, like, learn how to enjoy it, um, I was going a little too overboard, you know, to the point where I wouldn't remember anything. I had to be on FaceTime the next day with like three people asking them for every detail that they remember. And then with three people's um, stories, I'm able to create a whole story, <laughs> a complete story. And that's not good. You don't wanna have to do all that. So I, I'm glad I got that like excitement and, and adrenaline out of my system because now i you know i'm trying to go traveling i'm trying to drink um went on trips you know maybe i'm by myself and even when you know in vegas especially you know with friends like doesn't matter who i'm with you know you just always want to be on your a game and yeah it's it's nice to have fun but you know have a balance so girl I have my yeah my i have an experience where it's actually the same guy i think i told you guys i've only hung out with him a few times and um he um he invited me to the club and i must have been going through it because it's always when i'm like low-key going through it where i go ham in the club i'm just like shot 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 so i took lots of shots and i ended up blacking out and it's so funny because this guy was like yeah so we're gonna go to an after party are you down to come and i was like sure so we get in his car and well actually that's not safe was he sober <gasps> well i was blacked out by this point so that's another good reason you know uber honey boo boo uber that's your life you only get one take care of yourself you hear about all these crazy stories that happen. And if you don't hear about them, read about them. Watch it on YouTube. I love, um, I don't love it, but I force myself to watch sometimes like tragic stories on the news and story times and stuff like that. So it could kind of like scare me and I could be like, whoa, that is so true. Like that things like that happen, you know, so you have to be careful. Um. But when we were in the car on the way to the after party at someone's, like, house or something, uh, I don't remember, uh, <laughs> I passed out. So he realized, like, oh, shoot, she has to go home. So he drove me home, <laughs> and he's like, shoot, she has to get upstairs. And he did not know. He had never been to my house. So he did not know anything 
about anything and at that point i was kind of awake so i was able to tell him where to go i guess i honestly don't remember any of this but yeah um that's one of the worst nights because i was just so sloppy and honestly good thing me and this person are like kind of like cool you know so it's something we could laugh about but still like i'm not proud of that and i would never want that to happen again so i definitely make sure that i will never get that drunk again because it's not fun i thought i was having so much fun until i wasn't and i had to learn the hard way like wait that isn't fun so yeah definitely know your limits even it out with water don't let no one peer pressure you into drinking too much take a break if you need to take a break i was dancing a lot but i was making sure every time you know i was not feeling it i wasn't going to force myself to keep standing up like no sit down take a break take a breather and then when you feel good again you hear a good song party 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 yep so that is like for example some of my worst experiences of course the nights that i lose my phone um luckily i lost my phone twice now at the club and both times i got it back so that doesn't usually happen so i'm very grateful for that yay but it's all it's always so stressful like i'm literally on the verge of crying for like 24 hours or until i find it and i usually don't find it right away or figure out who has it right away especially because i don't have a phone to even like call people because what the heck i lost my phone so yeah super 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 stressful and yeah so learn from my mistakes you guys don't drink do not drive well don't drink don't drive don't drink and drive and don't drink too much in general be able to function it's not fun but yeah and then another last tip i'll say before we end off this um podcast sorry i don't have too much energy to you guys i'm telling you i have barely any sleep in me because right after i got off the plane i had woken up at one in the morning to get ready because after drinking that fat tuesday in vegas me and my friend walked back to the hotel room passed the heck out and we were supposed to go to a club the one that we got that table for um i forgot what yeah anyways and like we got invited to the table for from the promoter and um we knew that we had early flights the next morning our flights were leaving super early in the morning we had to be at the airport by four in the morning so um we um what do we do we ended up taking a nap and we were like, yeah, we're going to go to the club, to our little table, whatever. But everything happens for a reason. We ended up oversleeping and we're like, yeah, it's too late. We're not going to that club. Let's just sleep, sleep a little bit longer and then wake up later, get ready for our flight. So I ended up waking up randomly at like one o'clock. I was literally sleeping in like jean shorts. So I was like, what the fuck? So I finally get up, change, wash my face, brush my teeth. And... um my friend had woken up we ended up staying awake all the way till four in the morning and at four in the morning i go to the airport you know and it's kind of sketch because i'm by myself so i know that i can't fall asleep because i don't want nobody to take my bags while i'm sleeping or anything so i stay awake the whole time and on the flight the flight was only a 45 minute flight so i was awake for some of it because the lights were actually on but since it was such an early flight they ended up turning off the lights so i was like whatever i'll just take a nap because i was actually studying spanish with my flashcards while at the airport and on the plane and i learned a bunch of new vocab so i'm very proud of myself been taking myself and my spanish learning more serious it's on and off i have good phases and then you know when I, when i'm busy clubbing i be forgetting so i be practicing at the club with people <laughs> i'm dead but yeah so after that when i got off the plane and stuff like i said i had missed my granny so i just got ready and um went to, to eat with my granny and then after that um i had to go into the club with um those guy that guy so literally um it was a wild night i'm not gonna say uh more details as to what happened because it's just personal and irrelevant but let's just say that i did not end up going to sleep until 
pretty much never <laughs> no i feel like i got probably like two hours of sleep dude two hours like what the freaky freak and then i had some errands to do today and stuff like that so i've just been up and at them y'all it's insane i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i guess i need to actually just go to sleep um the last thing that i wanted to say which is something oh wait i already said this was the, to keep relationships with people okay um keep um a good relationship with people because yeah especially in the nightlife industry it's um even though it's like a it's big industry the nightlife it's also like everyone knows everyone you know especially because if you're going to the same spot every weekend or whatever, every other weekend, like you're going to see the same workers. You're going to, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely just keep a good relationship with everyone because those good relationships are going to benefit you later on. Possibly they can, you know, they could, you know, they someone might be like, you know what? I see you here all the time. You know what? Like I'm going to take you to VIP, especially if it's like a slow night and they want like that section filled or something i don't know do people actually do that i'm kind of making this up but I, I could assume that i would assume that they would be like play it you know i don't know probably not that but you know you might get a little bit of special treatment or even like i don't know man i'm honestly half asleep you guys i can't talk anymore but this was such a fun lit podcast sorry i'm like kind of turned down but that's what clubbing does to you another good tip is to have balance you know back then all these stories you guys are probably like what the heck girl you're clubbing back to back to back to back to back to back and i know that's what i recently just did was back to back because in vegas i was clubbing last night i clubbed but y'all I'm taking a break. And even before this, I wasn't clubbing until the last time I went to Vegas. And yeah, uh, I have no desire to go clubbing until I'm in like Tulum or somewhere like different, you know? So yeah, don't burn yourself out. Also, um, I have a friend who is out of state. Shout out to Tina because I hope she's watching this. Um, we're FaceTiming right now, and I was like, I'm a, I'm a film, and she was like, say shout out to Tina. So period, shout out to her. But <laughs> she says she's gonna listen to it, so we'll see. And um, which I'm gonna call it. So she's you know far. She's in Arizona, so. I can't just be like, hey, honey, um, honey, boo boo invited me out to the club tonight to his table, like trying to pop out with me because she's in fucking Arizona. You feel me? Like can't just because this be this be last minute invite type shit. I'm texting you five minutes before I start getting ready to leave, you know? And so she basically just saw my stories and then we we got to facetime and i got to tell her details as to like what happened and stuff and you know it just seemed turn and sh and fun she was just like oh my gosh da, 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 da. and i had to let her know like dude and also i want to let you guys know like it's actually like um i don't know like like Someone could Snapchat like a really turnt party or a club or whatever it may be and be having the worst night ever. So don't ever think that like you're missing out or something, because as long as you had a good night, even if you just were at home with your cat alone, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a Friday night and you're by yourself. You're chilling. As, you know, you're not locked up. You're not in the hospital like you're chilling. Don't just because somebody else is party post a snapchat party in the club like yeah sure maybe fun look fun yeah sure you may see that and be like oh i wish i was there whatever that's okay but don't um like do do too much because even myself when i i when it's crazy because after you party like a little bit you kind of want to keep going you know what i mean so there would be weekends when i would party and then one weekend where People were busy, nobody was doing nothing, clubs weren't popping, or whatever, nobody was just trying to go out. Um, and I remember being sad, being like, oh, I can't find nothing to do. And then, you know, same thing, if I saw someone turning up on Snapchat, I'd be like, what? Like, I'm at home, you know, I'm missing out. So it's easy to to do that. But I want to remind you guys that don't even trip. Even me, you know, my story of when I was young with my sister, like, I really felt like, oh, I missed out, like, 
so many people were having fun and i was probably crying in my car on the way home to la <laughs> literally i think I, I that's what happened after that i just drove home <laughs> how lame yeah so you know there's gonna be good experiences they're gonna be bad experiences and it's up to you to just make the best of it you know what i mean and same with your own personal life experiences and your own weekends that you spend at night just chilling by yourself on hopefully netflix or something so yeah i'm tired y'all i'm falling asleep right here good night <laughs> i'm just kidding but i honestly try to give my best um advice in this podcast so i'm looking forward to whatever else you guys feel like you want to add on to this like clubbing advice and little guide but thank you so much for listening you guys i hope you have an amazing weekend and you enjoy the podcast be sure to show it some love and stay let's stay positive double dose <laughs>